views or opinions expressed in this video are solely my own and do not necessarily reflect those of any other person or company. Well, hello again, good people. Uh, today we're going to be flying from Lovell Field in Chattanooga down to Huntsville International. Uh, the scenery today isn't the point of the flight. We're going to be looking at the uh, program XATC Chatter. Uh, this is version 1.7, currently beta 11. So let's hop in, have a look. We're going to be flying in the stock Cessna 172 and at the moment we're in the HUD view because I want to concentrate on the XATC Chatter windows. XATC Chatter has been produced by Stick and Rudder Studios. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, the program is a, is a standalone program. It's in collaboration with LiveATC.net and gives high quality air traffic control audio clips for X Plane. The XATC Chatter program, as I say, is a standalone one, although it can be integrated into other standalone programs such as uh, 124th ATC, Pilot to ATC and XLife. There's two parts to XATC Chatter. There's of course the Chatter Clip side which provides ambience to your flying. And since version 1.7 came out you also have a quite usable air traffic control program. Now of course you can use X-Plane to provide air traffic control but this only gives you IFR. XATC Chatter will also provide you with VFR and VFR flight following. Comprehensive documentation is provided with the program where, with tutorials on how to use the program and how to install it. The tutorials are YouTube videos. A nice feature of uh, XATC Chatter is the number of voices you can use. You can either use uh, the ones provided by Microsoft or the rather robotic ones provided in X-Plane or if you've purchased in any SAPI voices uh, you could use those as well. Although well, I have got some Seraproc ones and um, they don't seem to work so I have to find out why that's, uh, that's a problem. So let's have a look at XATC Chatter's pop-up windows. So there are three pop-up windows. Uh, the one on the left-hand side uh, deals with the air traffic control. We'll look at that in a minute. And the other two uh, deal with the Chatter side of the program. So the one in the middle is the control panel for the Chatter. And you can determine which uh, area you are flying in and which area areas clips you want to listen to. And the one on the right shows the air traffic control facilities in your area. So, okay, let's set up a flight. So we're flying from Lovell Field. Um, and we're going down to Huntsville. Just turn on the line up and wait so we get the messages for that. It's not a commercial flight. We don't need the pushback and engine start. Destination Ikeo is Kilo Hotel Sierra Victor, Huntsville International. Plan altitude 4600, that's a bit high for us. We'll uh, come down there, I think. There we go, 3,500. We are going to do a VFR with flight following. Oh, I can't do the flight pan yet. We're going to put in that we are Cessna. And the tail number is Delta, Echo, Whiskey, Papa Romeo. VFR with flight following. Okay, I think. Ah, yes, we're going to do the uh, ATIS. So we're going to have to listen to the ATIS first, see which uh, which uh, letter of the alphabet we're Zulu. using. 1600 Zulu weather. Wind to zero zero at five. Visibility more than ten. Sky conditions 19,500. Scattered. Temperature one five. Dew point minus one eight. Altimeter two nine nine two. 
arriving runway 15, departing runway 15. Advise on the initial contact you have Zulu. Okay, Zulu. So let's uh, put that in there. Oh, no, that didn't work. There we go, Zulu. And now we're ready to file the flight plan. So what does it we need to do? Uh, oh, look at the communications and in the hints uh, window there, we need to turn on the transponder. And what I'm going to do is turn off the chatter, otherwise I'm going to be competing with it. Now I could just uh, press that button and it would change the radio to that frequency, but uh, I'll do it properly as, uh, as I should. So it is one two zero one two zero decimal nine five zero nine five zero change it over okay you see it brings up a um, an optional pilot transmission window if you don't want this simple ATC window here uh, you don't have to have it, you can just have this this uh, simple ATC pilot transmission window which will pop up whenever you need to send an, uh, a message right okay so it's now telling me to squawk to turn on the transponder and to squawk 1200 so transponder should be on transponder on mode okay and I should be on 1200 okay so the hints window is now clear and I can transmit the file, sorry, the, the clearance. Clearance, Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, at gate 1A with information Zulu, BFR to Huntsville INTL Carl T. Jones FLD, Kilo Hotel Sierra Victor, request flight following. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo is clearing for to Huntsville International Carl T. Jones FLD, Kilo Hotel Sierra Victor, fly runway heading, climb to 2600, squawk 4362, departure on 119.2. I'll just read that back. Uh, what I'll do, I think I'll get rid of this simple ATC pilot transmission and just keep the simple ATC window on there for now so what you do you go into um, uh, options I think yes options and just untick the show pilot transmission windows so we don't need that at the moment so let's get rid of that window let's get rid of that window and now it wants us to squawk four three six two four three six two and ident okay and transmit Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo is cleared to Huntsville INTL Carl T. Jones FLD Hilo Hotel Sierra Victor fly runway heading climb to two thousand six hundred Squawk 4362, departure on 119.2. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo feedback correct. Ground on 121.7. Have a great day. Well, thank you very much for that. So, for t it's saying the hints for taxi tuned to 121700. So, I will. Let's tune that one two one seven hundred. One two one. And swap over. 
Okay, so now we're on uh, transmitting to the ground station. Marvel Field Ground, Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, at Gate 1A with information Zulu, BFR to Huntsville INTL Carl T. Jones FLD, Kilo Hotel Sierra Victor, ready to taxi. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo taxi to runway 20. Transmit. Taxi to runway 20. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. I'm not going to transmit that yet. Uh, to contact tower, we will go to runway 20. Okay, here we are at runway 20. Change of frequency 118.3. Okay. And transmit to the tower. Marvel Field Tower, Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. Ready at runway 20. Echo Whiskey Harper Romeo, runway 20, line up and wait. Runway 20, line up and wait. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. On. Landing lights off. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo wind is 200 Clear for takeoff. Runway 20. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 20. Taxi lights Echo off. Whiskey Papa Romeo. Okay, ready to go, I think. Okay, we're on our way to Huntsville. Um, we're going to be climbing at 500 feet a minute till we get to our planned cruising altitude of 3,500. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, contact Chattanooga departure on 119 2 Chattanooga departure on 119er decimal 2. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. Okay, so I better do that.
Chattanooga departure, Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo at 3200, climbing to 3500. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, radar contact. Okay, here we are at our planned cruising altitude of 3,500. Now we're just going to settle down into the cruise. And at the moment we are being looked after by Chattanooga departure. Okay, a bit more about the program that I've picked up from looking at the documentation. Uh, you can tie the chatter to the COM1 or COM2 radio. You can toggle keys or buttons to clip playback uh, or the type of controller selection. If you don't want to deal with the faff of uh, dealing with air traffic control yourself, you can leave it to your virtual co-pilot who will handle the radios him or herself. So he will deal with everything, tuning uh, the radios to the various stations and, and contacting them and replying and uh, doing all that sort of thing which allow you to fly the aeroplane. But I think, well, where's the fun in that? Uh, do it yourself, much better. The program isn't a complete catch-all for air traffic control. Um, there are still limitations as to what the, uh, the program can achieve. It can't provide SIDs, stars, or radar vectors, and it doesn't know anything about uh, the terrain, so you're still going to have to watch out for those mountains. But it's still uh, a lot better than what X-Plane can provide at the moment, especially as you can use it for VFR flying. Okay, let's talk about the audio clip side. If I turn on that one, that one. Okay, so this uh, plays the chatter. This is the chatter side of uh, XATC. Um, this is a standalone clip player. Currently, there's approximately 26, uh, 26 and a half thousand clips divided by. Uh, into regions around the world. So we have uh, see Africa, Asia, Canada, uh, Europe, Oceania, South America and the United States. At the moment I've ticked it on the United States. You can see there's 7,000 uh, clips. There's over 7,000 clips in Europe uh, and uh, 3,000 clips in Oceania and so on. Um, so if you're flying in a particular area, and we are flying in the United States at the moment, you've got all these clips which could come up. Um, what it does is play the clips to the nearest facility. So at the moment it's uh, got clips in the nearest 40 ATC facilities within 100 nautical miles of the aircraft. And it will change as we change the radio frequency. So as you see, we've, uh, we're not playing chatter at the moment because I want to talk and I don't want the chatter uh, to pipe up while I'm talking. But if I turn it on now, hopefully it will play. Keep this running, don't have any cross 25 left of Fox Truck, cross 25 right, right not a problem. Cut the exiting down, so. Cross 25 left of Fox Truck, cross 25 right up, Bravo, right down, Bravo, you can fucking not go on. Okay, and it will do a chatter clip approximately every 40 seconds. You, you can vary that in the settings. The, uh, the chatter clips are quite generic. They're not specific to a particular area, so it won't say uh, Boston Tower or something like that. It will just say Tower. Um, they're trying to keep it very generic. 
you have to change the regions depending on which area you're flying in. So if I'm flying in, flying in uh, the UK for instance, I'd change it to Europe. The chatter clips are not interactive, you can't interact, it's purely you're listening as a background noise. Um, I just, I have it on all the time because it gives me something to listen to apart from the engine hum. I'm going to turn off the chatter now um, because I don't want to have it on while I'm uh, flying the, the flight plan. There we go, it's now off. If you do have the chatter on, um, it's and the air traffic control side of the program on at the same time. Uh, the if you want to send a message and the chatter and there's a chatter file playing, uh, then you have to wait until the chatter file has finished. As in real life, you you don't play over someone, you don't transmit over someone else's uh, transmission. Echo whiskey Papa Romeo. Contact Atlantis Center on 124.5. Atlantis Center on 124.5. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. 124.5. Atlantis Center, Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo at 3500. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, radar contact, altimeter 2992. Altimeter 2992, Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. Whiskey Papa Romeo, contact Huntsville approach on 125.6. Huntsville approach on 125.6. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. 125.6. Huntsville approach. Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, at 3,500, inbound for full stop landing with information Zulu. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, radar contact, altimeter 2992. Altimeter 2992, Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. Echo Whiskey Pop Romeo, cleared for runway 18 right approach. Cleared for runway 18 right approach. Echo Whiskey Pop Romeo. Echo Whiskey Pop Romeo. Contact Huntsville INTL Carl T. Jones FLD Tower on 127.6. Huntsville INTL Carl T. Jones FLD Tower on 127.6. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo 1900, inbound for full stop landing with information Zulu. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, cleared for runway 18 right approach. Cleared for runway 18 right approach, Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo.
Echo Whiskey Park of Romeo, wind is 200 at 5, clear to land runway 18 right. Clear to land, runway 18 right Echo Whiskey Park of Romeo. Landing lights on. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo is clear of runway 18 right. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo, contact Huntsville International Carl T. Jones FLD ground on 121 decimal niner. Huntsville INTL Carl T. Jones FLD ground on 121 decimal niner. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. And finally tuned to ground. One two one decimal niner. Huntsville INTL Carl T. Jones FLD Ground Cessna Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. Request taxi to the gate. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo taxi to the gate. Taxi to the gate. Echo Whiskey Papa Romeo. And there we go, the uh, ATC is finished with this, and uh, so we can taxi away. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the flight today. Although early versions of XATC Chatter always provided the flyer with great background radio to listen to, I think uh, the addition of VFR capable ATC in this version has really, for me, uh, made this quite indispensable. Anyway, with that I will see you all soon. Bye bye.